Hello, here's a little tutorial on friend lists. Hey, look, there's a, a post. So this is your main timeline. This is a timeline that's shared that everybody who's shared something with you um, that is not a part of a separate list, uh, this is just everything, okay? Now, uh, you could do things like um, unfollow a person. You can unfriend them. You could tell Facebook you don't want to see something or whatever. Or you can say, I want to get notifications about this post. But I kind of like the idea of making a few friend lists and directing content towards them. So as I said, this is the general uh, timeline. But if you look over here under all the things like pages you like and groups you're a part of and all of that and apps you use, there should be a, a link on here called friends. If we click more, what's going to happen? There's probably going to be more. So I basically have a couple of friend lists. I don't even know why this one is there. But um, I, I really have close friends, which I don't use that much, although it will notify you. It'll send you like push messages to your phone anytime a close friend is on that. So like maybe my brother or somebody else, my wife. But um, first of all, I have two main ones here, Atlantis and Doesn't Hate Yoga. I mean, that's a little harsh, but uh, let's say the the list Atlantis. Now, if I click on this, what's going to happen is you're going to see a timeline right here. It's a timeline or a custom list that is just from the people that are a member of the Atlantis list. So let's say you had a list of all the people that go to your yoga studio. If you had them all on your friend list and you created yoga studio list, when you clicked on that friend list, it would just be all those people. It's kind of like a group, but it's sort of your view of, of certain folks. Now, uh, if we manage a list, so let's manage this list. And, and you can, you know, obviously you can create new lists. They're pretty easy to create. Um, how do you create a list? Friends? There you go. Friends, create list. So let's create a list. So I'll create a list. We'll just call this, um, you know, cheeseheads. Okay? This would be a good one. People who like the Packers. So when I create this list, now there's no one on it. I click manage list and edit list. And you know, if I search on the word wild, okay, we'll look for wild. Oh, not on, we'll go to not on this list. So we'll pick from all of our friends and I'll just search for wild. And so everybody in my family is a Packer fan, except for Katie actually, and Sandy and Sherry. Um, and I'll hit finish. Okay. Well, actually, let's add somebody who's not in my family. So maybe, uh, maybe Melissa. Okay, we're going to add her on there. So finish. So now I have a custom list called Cheese Heads. If I click on this again, it'll just load all the posts from the Cheese Heads. Right? So now, uh, how do we use this? If I go over here, let's say I'm going to do a regular post. I'm just say, Packers are going to win today, right? Well, right down here, and you can do this on mobile, there's, an, there's a sort of the access uh, control for this particular post. So if I change this to from Atlantis, we don't want to put it on Atlantis, that's the last one I used, to Cheeseheads. Now, it has a habit of wanting to stay on the last list that you chose. So if I click on Post, then only... My mom and dad and Melissa Cass are actually going to see this post. So if we look at, let's say, the Atlantis list, and we look at manage, and I say edit list, we can see all the people that are on this list. And there's probably some people that shouldn't be on this list, which is why I sent out that list. So I can guarantee she probably doesn't want to be on that list, and maybe she doesn't. And uh, there's a couple others of people that probably shouldn't be on this list, and I know that probably aren't into my conservative stuff which is fine. So I'll take some people off the list and maybe add some on. And then the real point here is to post, um, to you know, to not irritate people, just to post the things that you want to the list that you want, you know, and then, uh, and I really never post anything publicly, but mostly I have it set to friends. So if I want to post something funny or share a YouTube video, I usually set it to friends. But if I want to have a discussion about politics, I'll often send it to the Atlantis list. Or, you know, I'm trying to be respectful of some people who don't want to hear about yoga because that's all I talk about lately. And, uh, you know, I'll, I'll, add, I'll take them off the, the doesn't hate yoga list and then I'll just post to that, right? So that's how it works. It's uh, pretty easy. And, uh, again, it's right over here on the left-hand side. 
if you just click friends, it'll take you to this whole thing and you can see who's on each list. There's a bunch of other lists that are there like restricted and all that and some from the company or whatever and family. But you can create lists, see all friends and manage, even manage your friends right from there. So hopefully that helps. Namaste.